right, so this is the E major video. I'm trying again uh, the audio uh, technique I used in the last video, and hopefully this works for E major. So we'll go to the fretboard after I play the different scales in this one. Again, we'll try and make things different for um, this video. So with E major, we're talking There's all the um, scales that I was talking about, uh, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. Um, of course, uh, E major, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A uh, major, B major, uh, C sharp minor, and B sharp diminished back to E major and of course um, when it comes to um, you know again just just going all up and down the fretboard starting at your different points to get the different um, you know major Dorian Phrygian Lydian Mixolydian um, C sharp minor um, and D sharp Locrian, you know, obviously in this, it's just really getting to the fretboard, getting to know where every, um, you know, note is, and then just kind of finding different ways, um, to, you know, do those patterns. And then of course, and I kind of said it in the last video, you can mix it up. You don't have to, of course, um, you know, follow the you know this this complete you know linear path that these um, notes take you you can you know mix it up however you see fit or whatever sounds good because obviously um, if you're just doing everything linear you're not writing anything you're just doing the scales and you're not getting anywhere so I mean if you wanna you know in most cases especially in something like um, you know, E major, you know, what you would hear would be uh, the E major, the 
A major and the B major if you're following the one, four, five pattern that is used in most popular songs. Uh, obviously, you can you can do whatever pattern you want in writing your own songs. And again, as we um, you know get further you know along, obviously you'll see the the correlations between the other. I mean, usually it's just a circle of fists is how it all correlates to each other. But I mean, really, you'd only have to find you know once you're in E major, if you did want to you know do some stuff with E major, but then do a quick change to maybe something that's not in E major. You would I mean one of the easier ways to do that would um, you know be find another scale that has E major in it, which uh, A major of course does. Um, the difference between that would be uh, instead of the uh, B major, you would have the B minor and A major as we've gone over before. So um, you know, we, you know, you could do both those chords, you know, it, it has an interesting sound. Um, it does have its own progression name, which I can't think of right now, which I, I should have, but, um, obviously B major is another, um, uh, scale that has, um, E major in it. Uh, the difference there is instead of the A major. Um, it would have uh, an A sharp uh, diminished, no, no uh, natural A in B. But I mean, if you put those together, you know, it would take some time, take some sorting out. But you can definitely, um, you know, as you practice these scales, start, you know, blending them together, get some chromatic stuff. Um, you know, really. Um, take the playing to a different level, um, but this these you know scales obviously you get them down just to get the foundation um, of it all, and you kind of go from there. So you know we're rocking our way through this. I think we really only have two more videos after this one. Um, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm trying not to play the guitar too much because it'd be a lot of editing. Uh, that's why I did it all at the front. So you know when I put the fretboard up and do everything, you know I don't have to edit too much. But as I as I do this more, uh, I hope that um, I can uh, get the you know um, uh, you know basically uh, you know the editing down better and do it quicker so uh, these come up faster but this has been over eight minutes uh, let me get this one up there and maybe I'll even start working on one of the next ones quicker so we can just get this all wrapped up thanks